My people, my friends, welcome back. I got more things to talk to you about. So this one's gonna be a doozy. In fact, this one helped me actually level up how productive I was on a daily basis, actually. So stick around, this one's gonna be a good one. Uh, my name is Matthew Holland. My goal is to teach you all the things that you weren't taught in school or otherwise that will actually make you successful so you can get what you want in life. Today, we're gonna talk about tracking. More importantly, what you care about. Here's the deal. I don't remember who said this, but I still think it holds weight. You track what you care about. You track what you care about. When I play video games, I don't track how many matches I played because I don't care. I'm playing the game to have a good time. However, I will tell you how many times I won because I care about winning. You don't remember how many at-bats you had, but you remember how many home runs you hit. You see where I'm going with this? You can use that when it comes to actually staying on your P's and Q's. In fact, I would say it doubles down because as you stay consistent and you see that number go up, at least in my findings, as I've seen that number go up, I feel less inclined to do anything else that would pull me away from doing that actual thing because I don't wanna have to start from zero again. That's just me. If you're like me, that may work for you too. I bring this up because when I decided to actually sit down and learn the stuff that I need to learn so that I can actually win, one of the things brought to my attention was that I need to pay attention to my time and how long I'm studying and how often I'm going deep and, and all that, that kind of stuff because what you track is what you care about. It was at that moment, I watched a video from Alex Hermosi. He was like, if you really want to get ahead every day after you clock out from work, you sit down, you start your timer, you get to work four hours. Here's my timer, it's my best friend, four hours. Since then, I've been working to try and increase how long I can actually sit down and focus on something before I get burnt. Like, you know, just dead tired, I can't focus anymore. At first it was like, I don't know, 30, 45 minutes. Granted, I could focus longer because I was interested because I knew the value behind the stuff that I was learning about. So though I might not really care too much about the content, I knew by knowing this stuff, it would help me in the future because I would be able to pull that out of my arsenal at will and be able to use it to benefit myself or others. So at first it was probably like 30, 45 minutes of being able to sit down and actually focus on one thing. And then it started going up to an hour, an hour and a half, and then longer. Like the more I started to see the value in it, the longer I could focus on it, the more that I did it on a consistent basis, the easier it became to actually sit down and do the things every day for about four months weekends included holidays included i would do my four hours at least i think my my pr of how long or how many dedicated focus hours with the timer on phone in the desk and nothing else distracting me was eight hours like of dedicated i know what i'm doing i'm working on something focus work not oh i'm working but i'm checking my phone oh i'm working but i'm going to the bathroom oh i'm working but i'm making food oh i'm working but i'm getting water no sitting down timers running i'm doing the thing because the more that you do the thing the more that you learn the more that you learn the better you get and the better you get the you get where i'm going with this the more outcomes you see the more money you make the more insert thing that you want is what you get by doing the thing. So if you're getting this, I hope that you will adopt these things and learn from my mistakes. If you are like me, then I highly urge you to start using this tactic. You will start seeing the results that you are looking for. If it doesn't, if that doesn't work for you, reach out to me because I want to learn. Because I would like to find out what works for you and also put that in my back pocket because then maybe I can help someone else that has the same issues that you do. And last but not least, do me a solid and drop a comment. Tell me what you want me to talk about next. Tell me something that you are having a difficulty actually understanding and I will go delve into it, learn about it, come back and try to condense all the good bits of it and tell it to you right here. So today is day 22. Matthew Holland, thank you for your sweet, sweet attention and I will see you tomorrow.